In this video, we're going to be applying model based testing to the Cypress automation framework to rapidly create maintainable test automation. Firstly, we're going to be using the test modeler object scanner to very quickly extract the objects that we want to automate in our application. We're then going to build out a model in test modeler of how the application should work and then create the associated automation and test data. We'll export the JavaScript and then when we're ready, we can run the automation on our integration testing server, whether that be Jenkins, Bamboo or TeamCity or some other platform. The coverage focused automation will then run against our mobile or web platform. So let's jump in and take a look at the demo. The application we're going to be testing in this system is a create opportunities page inside Splendid CRM. Now, the first thing we're going to do is go into our browser extension here and we're going to scan the objects that we want to automate in our application. To do that, all I have to do is come in here and start clicking the objects that I want to automate. And you'll see as I'm going through here, those objects are turning red which means they're getting detected by the test modeler scanner. And we'll just pick out the two buttons down below here. And what you'll see is that we have 15 items that were scanned here. If we come into test modeler, what you'll see is that we have two bits here. We have an object repository, which contains the objects we scanned along with the associated identifiers. What we also have is the implementation layer in Cypress with our associated actions. And what we'll see for each action here, like if we take the enter account name, for instance, is that if we look in the advanced here, we'll see the code that has been parameterized up to perform these Cypress actions. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to go in and create a new model. I'm going to call this create opportunity. And what we're going to do here is model out the different scenarios and the different ways I can walk through the create opportunities page. Now, the first thing we're going to do whenever we create any kind of model is create a start block here. And then simply all we have to do is come in here on the right hand side and navigate to our object repository. So in this case, we're doing the opportunities. First thing we're going to do here is just go to the URL. So we'll go to our opportunities page. We're then going to enter a name. We're then going to come through and enter the account name. We'll then specify the lead source, the opportunity type, the currency ID, the date closed. We'll also do the amount. And then finally, what we'll do here is we'll just click the save button. We'll just tie this in here. Now, what we've essentially done here is we've split this into two parts. The top part, we're going to have a successful opportunity created. And in the second part, we've got our negative scenarios here, which is where we end up in some kind of error. And what I'm going to do here is just connect these negative scenarios up to our error block here just to indicate that if I go down a bad route we're going to end up in an error. Now what you'll notice here as I was going through importing and leveraging the objects that have been created it was creating a number of blocks for me here. Now basically what Test Modeler has done is it has had the intelligence to know that when we're looking at specific types the equivalence classes that match to them. So for instance if we look at the date field here we split this into three boundary values, today, the past, and the future. What it's also done there is it's overlaid some of our synthetic data generation functions for generating different values like financials, phones, names, etc., etc., and embedded the right functions in here to support this test automation. You'll see here the different functions that are being consumed. It also did something clever when it picked up a combo box. For instance, here we're looking at the lead source if I go into my application, you'll see there's a number of options. When we scan the page, it picked out all of these options and it has just embedded them in my model here as so. So what we end up with here is a model which represents our create opportunities page. The top, we've got our positive scenarios which lead to an opportunity being created. And at the bottom here, we've got our negative scenarios, which is where we've entered some bad data and we've ended up in some kind of error state. Now what we've done here is we've embedded our opportunity flow inside of a much bigger process. 
Now to reach the Create Opportunities page, we first need to log in to the application. So what we've done here is we've just created a little flow for a login, which lives independently, and we've just embedded that into our Create Opportunity process, which you'll see has been linked in up the top here. So we now have two processes here. We're gonna log in, and then once we've logged in, we'll go ahead and we'll create the opportunity. This is a nice way to segment the testing of the application and also you can create reusable components like the login screen here that are going to be used in many, many more than just one of my test scenarios. Once I've got this available, all I have to do is hit the generate button and what that is going to do is create the minimal number of tests to maximize coverage across our application. And you'll see here as I'm flicking through each of these tests, they're taking a different path through our system and they're covering different scenarios of logic passing through this page. Now, because we've overlaid this with the test automation and the test data, now what we can do is we can go in here and we can create our automation to be executed inside Cypress. So here we have the code here that's been generated by a test modeler. And what you'll see here is that we have each of our test scenarios inside a describe and it function here. So we'll see that it's firstly going into the login page and performing a login, and then it's going through and creating an opportunity. And you'll see here as I'm going through the different data scenarios that are being injected and the different routes that we're taking through our system. Now what we can do is we can come into Cypress here, we can open this test up and we can execute it as so. Now the nice thing about Test Modeler is instead of having to maintain all of these automation scripts by hand, all I have to do whenever a change occurs is come into Test Modeler and update my model, either by adding some blocks or removing some, to update the model to reflect the changes in my application. Then I can come in, save my model, and I can go into my processes and just regenerate my tests. So in effect, my test automation is becoming throwaway assets that I regenerate every time I do a new release. So in this video, we've created a Cypress object repository in a couple of minutes. You can then use this object repository to rapidly create models across positive and negative scenarios very, very quickly. You can generate optimal coverage focused test cases, which give you the minimum number of tests, which maximize coverage across your application. And finally, you can export to Cypress for execution in your continuous integration environment. Overall, this gives you an easily maintainable suite of automated test cases. All you need to do is keep your models up to date as your application progresses through sprint to sprint. You can also overlay rich sets of synthetic data and find or make the right data at the right time for your test scripts with our comprehensive TDM engine. Thanks for watching this video. Visit testmodeler.io to start your free trial today.